Digital switchover is the name given to the process in which analog television broadcasting is converted to digital television. The transition is expected to result in improved quality of broadcasts and the freeing up of valuable spectrum space for other offerings such as mobile, broadband, among other high-tech services. What we are likely to see is this. If you think about one of those TV stations using this amount of the radio spectrum now, which is, you know, we get them on channel 9, channel 8, and it's, it's related to the spectrum that they use, the airwaves. So they're using, let's say, this amount of the, of the, of the spectrum. With digitalization, you're going to be compressing the amount of spectrum they need. So you're moving from this amount down to here. This is all they will need now for digital TV. What you have left, this, you're using now for new generation technologies. All the things that people are developing that we're going to need bandwidth to, to, um, to provide. For consumers, this means the television sets will need to be able to receive digital signals in order to continue to operate. A lot of the cable systems are already going digital and many of them would have set-top boxes. When we move to the conversion to digital television, most cable subscribers will not have to do anything differently. It would be mainly the persons who receive televisions now, uh, aerially. You put up your rabbit ears or your outdoor antenna to receive television. Who would need to be making changes to that reception uh, technology? More than likely getting a, a set-up box. The Broadcasting Commission's Executive Director says it's important that consumers know the difference when purchasing television sets. We are going to find that there are not no analog sets around to purchase. But what we must be careful about in a jurisdiction such as ours is the dumping of analog sets. So people who have analog televisions in countries that have gone digital are looking around for places to go and, and dump these sets, knowing very well that in many countries in the world, those sets are going to become uh, unusable unless people get uh, set-up boxes. The digital switchover comes with many benefits to the viewing public, also opening up great opportunities for broadcasters. And it can be a combination of standard definition digital TV or high definition digital TV. High definition digital TV taking up far more capacity, but I mean, it's a beauty for the, for the viewer in terms of the quality of the, of the images seen on television, much sharper. You're watching TV and they want to do a snap poll on, on an issue. You don't have to be using your mobile phone, running up your credit um, to be calling in to participate. Your remote control might come with a little red button and the people on the TV screen tell you if you support this thing, you know, you press your red button once. And so the, it changes the relationship between the viewer and, uh, and, and uh, television. It gives far more um, uh, power to the viewer to enjoy television the way he or she sees fit. No Caribbean country has made a digital switchover as yet. Hence, Mr. Green says the digital switchover process, which started in 2003, is crucial to ensure Jamaica remains at the forefront of the technological race in the Caribbean. This move is to ensure, one, that we are not left on the wrong side of the digital divide. So the entire world is not in the digital mode and we're in the analog mode. Digital Suchova has already taken place around the world and has been completed in the United States of America and in Scandinavian countries such as Finland and Sweden. Jamaica's switchover deadline is in 2015 and the committee has been set up to guide the process. There is still a lot of work that we need to do in the planning stages. Uh, there is a, a digital switchover study. Um, the, 
terms of reference for which we are finalizing because we have to look at what the cost implications are, where are the cost points. We have to bear in mind the kind of economy we have. The intention is not to um, burden the ordinary Jamaican and to make life difficult for broadcasters and in that sense you have to manage the process well and we are embarked on that exercise. With more digital television on the horizon, the possibilities for local content providers are endless.